Hello everyone, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. Today I'm going to show you how to use our new button bow holder. This now comes free with all our door hangers or mesh rails. It's just a way to support your bow above your door hanger or rail. This one here has one on it and I'm going to show you how to put it together. This will hang on your door hook, but this will support your bow and any greenery that you add to it. So let's get started. First, when you get your door hanger, it's going to come like this. I'm also going to inclu include the rope for you. And what you need to do is you need to tape off one of the ends of the rope so it will go through the holes easily. So all I do is fold it over and then cut some of it off and kind of pinch the end to make the end go through easily. Now, there'll be a top and a bottom. Either way, you want it to look just like this with the holes in the middle up and down, all right? So, let's see, how did I do this now? All right, we're going to insert the rope going up. You just remember the old button kits we had when we were kids? It's very similar to this. Okay, then you're going to go back in. And I'll show you when it's done, what it should look like. And then you're going to go back down. So you're just weaving it in and out. So the front of it should look like that. See where you had these running parallel with the two in the middle? Now I'm going to pull this up a little because this is my hanger part. Okay, this is what hangs on the wreath hanger or the nail on your wall or whatever. All right. Then these two pieces down here will get stapled or tied to the back of your door hanger. Now with this one, I have it threaded through and tied at the top because I just did a loop to get it through the hole on the door hanger. This is our ornament door hanger kit. It's been foiled and put together. So then what you're going to need is you're going to need a zip tie. And the zip tie is going to go down in and come back up. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple bow here. So I can show you how I put this all together. I'm going to do a simple hand bow with about five loops. I just pinch and twist. Four. And one more makes five. Now this is going to go in your zip tie. All right. Now for this bow, I want some um, picks off to the side. So we're going to cut this apart. This one came from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to stick this on this side. And then I'm going to cut a second piece. And stick that on this side. It's under the bow but in between the, the button bow holder and the zip tie. 
I don't know if you can see that. See, it's just sandwiched in between the two. Now I'm going to put a little spot of glue there just to kind of give it a little extra stability. And then I am going to pull the zip tie. I was looking for my needle nose. Okay. Now for this bow, I also want to put this in the middle. And I should not have closed my zip tie because I did it too early. So, we're going to see if we can somehow fit this in here between the bow and the zip tie. And it looks like we're going to be able to do it. If I can just push the bow out of the way without catching it. caught on a little piece of thread. Let's see if I go underneath. There we go. And I'm going to bend it upward because I want that to be the middle of the bow. Alright. Sorry for the puppy interruptions. <laughs> They get quite loud at times. All right, so now I'm going to kind of fluff my bow up. So I'm going to do some twisting and pulling. So I want my bow to kind of work its way around this pick. This pick is also from uh, Hobby Lobby. I've been doing some manger, manger door hangers and this is the bow that I've been putting in there. So I figured I'd make one for you to show you how this works. And get this up. This is actually similar to one that Door from Door's Wood Decor made. Um, we have a machine that cuts wood, a CNC machine that we make all our wooden pieces with. And this is just scrap material that's been laying around and I thought that is an awesome idea that she made. We can make something similar <coughs> and give it away for free, not sell it with our, with our product. So there you go. Everything is securely on here. This is going to hang on your door and everything is attached inside there not falling out so you would just staple this to the back of your rail or whatever you're using um, your door hanger I didn't bring anything here with me actually we can use our welcome welcome um, wreath ring to show you that you could actually just put staple this to the back of here and you've got a bow at the top and everything's secure in there. But like I said, it was developed by her and this is just an awesome idea to attach everything. Because sometimes when you're attaching your bow to just the top of the ribbon or the roping, it's flopping all over. It's not staying on the hanger right. This just makes everything stay put. This is something we did last night on a collaboration live where three of us, we designed this centerpiece ring um, with the trees. We have several items, that holiday items, that go with the centerpiece rail. And this was one we worked on last night. I've yet to put the bow on there, but but anyhow, this was this. I'm recording this so you, the customer that gets this with their door hanger or 
um, rail, you now know how to use it, okay, or how to put it together. Um, like I said, they will come free with all our rails or door hangers. It will work good with this rail. See, all our rails are, are designed that you can pull the signs in and out. They're framed. So the way I set these up is you just remove the zip ties and all this comes off on one straight piece that you can store till next year and then you can put a new sign in. Um, if you go back through my videos, you can see how we made that. So there you go. There's your button bow holder that holds your picks, your bow, and everything, and then you would just attach it to the back of your rail or door hanger. All right, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to get back to you and answer any any questions you might have. I'll leave some links in the, in, um, the description that leads you to my Etsy shop and you can see the various wood items that we have, signs and ribbon. Um, we love new ideas, so uh, don't hesitate to contact us if you have a new idea. All right, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.